Hello and welcome guys. This is Akshay GH and I'm here to show you guys how you can create a glass model and render it with V-Ray into 3ds Max and this is the first tutorial that I'm recording for Beat3D uh, which is the new channel that I just started. Uh, I have worked on tutorials before this channel and posted a few course on Udemy as well. You can get the link from the description if you want to. So this is the first tutorial let's get started so first of all what you want to do is you should get a reference image for your um, ah, glass yeah obviously so what we are going to do we are going to just uh, download it but I have already downloaded a reference so here you can see uh, this is the one the glass I just googled the glass image and I just got this one so I'm just gonna drag out uh, simple plane and you can go to the properties and make sure the size should be proportional so it says 2000 into 2000 so we can just make it any size which is actually proportional so I'm gonna go with 500 into 500 actually 500 is a bit large so let's go with 300 uh, you can do the unit set unit setup by yourself if you want to but um, I'm good with this one so I'm gonna go to the materials editor but before that as we are going to use V-Ray I'm going to change the renderer to V-Ray advanced and that's it for now now what I'm gonna do is I am going to choose a material which is going to be a V-Ray material you can do with the default scan line as well but if you want to but um, what doesn't matter if you are setting up the reference image so I'm gonna go to my computer and here we go so what we need to do now and select this plane and assign the material and make sure you turn off real world map size to make it visible and also if you if your quality is not so good for textures what you can do you can go to the configure viewport go to the perform display performance and increase the size of texture map and that'll uh, make sure that it looks good so I'm gonna turn on the snap and rotate it 90 degree so that we could see the glass I'm gonna bring this up a little bit now I'm gonna go to uh, again select this and let's decrease the segments what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna simply press F3 to make sure we are in shaded mode and F4 to enable wireframe mode as well in all the viewports and I'm going to turn off the grid so that was the shortcut G is the shortcut uh, so let's focus on this here now what we are going to do is we are going to create a cylinder to get started now the cylinder size should match with this uh, bottom size or you can start off with top as well and also you can create a glass with spline tool, tool as well but uh, I'm more comfortable with uh, manual modeling instead of going with spline so I'm gonna just simply drag out a cylinder and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees right like this now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just simply decrease the height segment and make sure you place it right here now this is not going to be the curve that we are going to model because this is not actually an orthographic image and we are kind of working here in orthographic uh, viewport so what I'm gonna do now is uh, make sure your sides are 18 or less uh, you can increase it but that that's not the point because uh, obviously you need to apply turbo smooth to make it look better now I'm gonna convert it to editable poly and uh, one more thing that I want to do is alt X is the shortcut to go to see-through mode but if that isn't working go to object properties and make sure that you change it from display by layer to by object now if you hit ok all text is gonna start working now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to my perspective view and let's select this top face and I'm gonna hit delete button to delete it then I am going to use the swift edge loop and insert a few edge loops to uh, you know start matching up with our reference now all you need to do is uh, start matching up the reference now make sure that uh, the tool you are selecting is the first one from the list this is not the first one this is the second one uh, yeah both both will work I guess um, just make sure in perspective it's 
changing it from all sides not just from one axis all right then what you can do next is use shift and drag it up and scale it according to the shape of glass now as i told you this is not a perspective uh, this is not an orthographic image of glass, so it isn't going to match up completely uh, what you expect. But you can go with some approximations and make sure you make it look good, not too bad. And once you are done with getting some good shape, now what you can do is start extruding it from inside but before that what i'm going to do is i am going to extrude this bottom face just a little bit not too much and i'm going to decrease the size to give that kind of shape to the glass all right now what i'm going to do is select the top of our glass and shift in decrease uh, the thickness depends on you how much thickness you want for your glass I'm gonna go about somewhere around here then I'm gonna start pushing this down and uh, there is one thing that I want to tell you guys is that I'm not actually gonna push this down uh, below this edge so that I know that the upper upper edge is always for the inside and that's gonna help you a lot if you are modeling manually and decree uh, start shifting it now the thing is you can either go with spline or manual it doesn't matter what matters is your model is good enough for texturing and shading or not because uh, sometimes your shading and lighting is really good but the model uh, doesn't really look realistic so make sure you add a good thickness not too much not too less but a good thickness to your glass and if you don't add thickness it's definitely not not gonna look realistic so I'm gonna push this right around here to make sure that there is some gap um, at the bottom and then I'm gonna just do the same thing that we did right here and now uh, make sure we are in uh, not in see-through mode and I'm gonna hit cap to fill the hole uh, at the bottom so we have done really good work now one more thing that I want to do before we start any other thing I want to add one more edge loop here and also uh, not the not inside but the outside add one more and now select that and push this outside and I'm gonna chamfer it to give that kind of look all right now also you can add one more here if you want to bring this up maybe to make it look a little bit rounded and also chamfer it if you want uh, this will also make it look a little realistic then the next step that you want to do is actually turbo smooth it now before applying turbo smooth uh, you should actually work on your edges uh, but what I usually do is I apply turbo smooth first and then turn it off and work on the rest of the stuff so I'm gonna add a few edge loops so you need to go back to editable poly to do that and i'm gonna add one right here right here and uh, also to make this better we need to use inset just to give that kind of sharpness uh, not too smooth same for inside uh, i guess yeah inset all right so now if you see our glass is ready and we are now ready to add some juice and texture it so i'm gonna save it and we will start texturing right away 
So the next step is to delete our reference and let's start creating some other things like the plane or the studio setup. Now what I'm going to do is add a huge plane right beneath it and make sure you place your glass right above it. And now what you are going to do is simply convert it to editable poly and select this right over here and shift drag it right above then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just simply chamfer this part just like that and then apply turbo smooth obviously to make it uh, smoother then what I'm gonna do is uh, control s to save it and now we need to create a camera for our glass so to do that I'm gonna to go to the top view uh, either you go to camera or just simply select it from the video toolbar I'm gonna to use a physical camera and start dragging it out and make sure that your point of focus is right in the center of the glass right click it to finish the selection now what I'm gonna do is uh, instead of this top view I'm gonna hit C button to bring out my camera view so I can see that where my camera is placed and it's time to start placing our camera at some good position now you need to select your point and make sure you place it somewhere good now another thing that you want to do is set your uh, resolution uh, what resolution you want for your image uh, so I'm happy with this right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just turn on the safe frames from here so that we could be we could see what's actually going on in here and also if you select the aim we need to move it a little up just this guy yeah just like that looks pretty good uh, so we have created our camera we have created glass and now it's time to add some lights to it so if you uh, just simply apply a random V-ray material so I'm gonna just simply select the V-ray material select the glass and the plane and let's assign it and what I'm gonna do right now I don't like the blue color so obviously I'm gonna change it to something else black alright uh, now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply take a render and you can see that we can't see anything that's because we haven't added any light so it's time to put on some lights so to do that we're gonna need the top view and also this light panel video light and I'm gonna choose a normal plane light and I'm gonna place it right above this glass now it doesn't matter um, what size it is because we can we are going to decrease it and also uh, I'm gonna place it right at this side and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees no, or not 90 but pointing towards the glass so that we could create some really good lightings now it, the studio setup it totally depends on you guys what kind of studio setup you want how many lights you want for your studio so it totally uh, you can see that the intensity is too much so I'm going to decrease it to just one to see the effect now this looks a lot better than what we were getting previously but there was nothing actually it's a simple dark image now I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna shift drag and make a copy of this not an instance because we are gonna change a few of this property now I'm gonna point this right to it and also I'm gonna decrease this intensity to about 0.2 percent which is like a lot less than what we will get now also uh, also one thing that I want to mention you guys is we are going to obviously change uh, modify lights again but this is just to get you started with something uh, we have to add some lights obviously we need to tweak these later so I'm gonna point it right like this and I'm gonna decrease intensity more let's see what kind of effect we get looks good now it's time to add some shaders to our glass and also uh, maybe we can add a straw first so that we could actually see what's going on in, in the scene so what I'm gonna do right now is create another cylinder cylinder or whatever 
and let's rotate it 90 degrees place it right in the center where it should be placed and I'm gonna increase the height a little bit more and also if you go right right around here I'm gonna convert it to editable poly I'm gonna select this top face and first let me select the bottom one and let's select the top as well then I'm gonna use inset to insert it then also bridge those faces or polygons now once we have created our straw we need to now rotate it so that it should look like it's uh, somewhere around here so I'm gonna rotate it in the, this direction as well so that now it's not necessary to match exactly but you should do that by turning it off and doing a little bit rotation towards here all right now it's time to add material to our glass and let's see how it looks like uh, so I'm gonna go right here and create a new material now we are going to choose video material as well I'm gonna name it glass glass material or whatever you want to now make sure you also rename your models as well because that's a good thing to do I'm gonna change the diffuse to pitch black reflect to let's say for now we want it to reflect a lot and uh, maybe if you can see it from here uh, you can uh, increase the glossiness or decrease it let's just go for uh, somewhere around here and also refract for let's go somewhere around there and we need to change the IOR settings to 1.3 which is I guess that's the glass or if that's water uh, I need to google that and I'll surely change that later but let's take a render with this right now let's assign it to our glass and let's take a render this looks a little bit like a glass but we need to change a lot of things and I'm gonna pause this video right right here and we are going to continue this uh, just after a while so we are back and I searched for the IOR in uh, the index it's actually 1.5 for the glass so let's see what effect does it create uh, not so much glass never looks like this there's always some sort of fog inside the thickness of the glass so what you need to do next is actually start adding a little bit of fog color inside it so I'm gonna choose kind of a greenish kind of color so somewhere around here and you need to decrease this amount a lot because if you take a render now you can see that it's totally green you can create a wine bottle with this but not a glass so I'm gonna change it to 0 0.05 and let's render it now you can see that the results are a lot better now but it's kind of too green so we need to change the color a little bit so I'm gonna go towards the darker side and let's reduce it and let's take a render a lot better now now what we are going to do next is uh, before proceed let's assign some random material to our straw now, we don't know what kind of material you want uh, but what I am going to assign to it is pure red little bit just a little bit reflection to it but maybe some uh, some sort of glossiness decrease so I'm gonna apply this just to um, make it look like some something that some some sort of straw so it doesn't matter uh, you can create uh, your own material for straw uh, let's not focus on that maybe you can uh, make it little darker darker brown or whatsoever but the next thing that I'm going to tell you is the HDR lighting and we are going to use the dome light to do that and I'm gonna choose the video light instead of plane we are going to choose dome and I'm gonna place it right over here now the next thing that I'm going to do I'm gonna open up my material editor and let's get material and let's go to V-Ray and let's choose V-Ray HDR right then I'm gonna browse my 
uh, what do we have here not this one yep so I'm gonna browse my HDR image and uh, one thing I need to tell you guys is that I can't provide you guys to download this because uh, it will be against the copyright issue so uh, what you can do is you can google it and you can find it there are lots of HDR is free uh, on the internet you can search for any interior HDR uh, you can get it from there now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just, just simply change to spherical make sure you, this is a spherical I'm gonna drag and drop it to the texture make it an instance and into the options I'm gonna turn off the effect diffuse because it should not uh, actually affect the diffuse of our glass now the reflections are too much I'm gonna decrease the intensity of this uh, reflections maybe a little bit more or you can adjust the rotation of your um, light so you can do it from here you can maybe rotate a little bit more yep you can see that the reflections are right here uh, or maybe you can decrease just a little bit more to give you better results okay i guess you can increase the fog a little bit maybe dark colorful fog uh, to make the results better uh, but now it's time to create the juice of our glass now to create juice inside your glass what you need to do actually is turn on uh, editable poly again and make sure that you start selecting a few faces which actually are inside the glass and that's uh, how much um, amount make sure you select some good faces I don't know what I'm saying uh, but you have to continue this and st keep selecting till you reach the bottom of your glass so I have selected all of the faces inside uh, right till here you need to make sure you don't select any face from outside now what I'm gonna do is use the scale tool let's go to side view and shift scale them down just a little bit not too much just the right amount and release it now make sure you clone them to the object not to element and once you are done with that you are gonna get one another uh, object right over here now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna assign a new material to it so that at least it is visible to us till now so I'm gonna name it um, juice or whatever you want to name it next step I'm gonna cap this thing and let's insert it a little bit so that it's kind of like a full object not a hollow shape right around here now apply turbo smooth and let's go back from isolation and now make sure that none of your um what is the uh, faces from your or edges from your juice should extrude that thickness or should come out of from here because it's gonna cause some bad reflections on the glass so you need to make sure you your whole object is right inside this glass not even a single um, edge should come out now take a render let's see looks good looks a lot good lot better I guess now the next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to change the diffuse color to some orangish color and let's see what we can do with this I'm gonna make it reflect a lot and there there are always uh, things like uh, you need to make full refraction in the juice and in the fog color but uh, it totally depends on you how you get the results not the method so if I go to uh, make the refract refraction full let's select the inner object and uh, make sure we have assigned it and let's take a render and you can see that we have already created uh, 
water not not exactly water but some sort of liquid that we need to change it the IOR let's see it, now it looks a little bit like water I guess now what we can do actually is uh, change the refraction to not too much but just a little bit and let's take render and see what happens and you are gonna see that it's starting to look already like some juice in the glass now there are tweakings that you can do uh, is like make it more transparent and the color to more yellowish than orangish and also you need to change the fog color to some sort of orange color to uh, and it's it's always gonna your fog color is always gonna affect this thing so you need to decrease it a lot to uh, make it better but what I usually do is I don't use any fog color so uh, it totally depends on you uh, also you can add the backside color to your juice and uh, there is not so much time left for the tutorial because we have already stretched it a lot uh, but you can what you can do is you can change the color and make different kind of juice like apple juice or maybe you can create whiskey or wine or anything else so I'm gonna uh, talk about this a lot uh, next time of course uh, but for right now this is it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys uh, in some other tutorials so uh, like and share the video if you really like and if you have any suggestions for me you can comment it and I'm definitely uh, definitely gonna reply to those comments whichever I read first so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time